So here's our Forney uh, compression testing machine that we're going to be using today to start the compression testing. There's the badging for it with the model number and it's uh, got attached to it a load cell. There's the load cell right here and it uh, provides information on the computer here that uh, converts how much force is being applied by the cylinder that we can then use, we'll have to do the calculations to convert that into the strength of the concrete. Uh, it's driven by an electric motor that drives a hydraulic pump that pumps hydraulic fluid into the cylinder. Uh, this is the valve here that we're going to be using. Uh, this valve actuates, starts the uh, hydraulic pump pumping through. Uh, this turns the, starts the head moving and this uh, dial will dial in the rate at which the the load is being applied and uh, this gauge will also measure that rate at which it applies. Uh, the load cell and computer is also has USB output here that is right now plugged into the, one of the survey tablets running the software so we can download a lot of the information and create stress strain curves and things like that that you will be uh, learning in next year's uh, strength of materials course. Uh, so there are various different attachments that we can do to do some slightly different things rather than just uh, breaking concrete cylinders. We can break uh, any kind of cylinders. We can break different size cylinders and cubes and things like that. Uh, Right now I have this packing piece in here, basically a, a spacer. Uh, the reason for that being that uh, if we look in here, that badge there says that it's a two and a half inch stroke cylinder. We actually don't want to get close to that if we do uh, some holes line up uh, in the piston and the cylinder and hydraulic oil then uh, will puke all over the floor and we have to clean it up and replace that. So we try to limit the stroke of the cylinder as much as possible. So I've got that packing piece in. This is the normal one right here that's normally in there. It's a, it's a locator pin and allows you to locate those cylinders uh, as closely as possible on the center line. One of the other specs is the uh, how perfectly parallel the surfaces of the cylinder are. Uh, we, they can be ground to be perfect. Uh, we don't have that ability, so and it's very costly. So we have purchased these these uh, end caps. They are have soft rubber on them that does take into account any of the imperfections that are on the surface, like these uh, any of the stones or or aggregate that's sticking up, or the fact that it's uh, not 100% perfectly flat. So this this will accommodate that for the testing. Uh, some of the other just turn this sideways. Some of the other. Uh, attachments we have a beam attachment this particular beam attachment here so we can put a, a beam on there right now I just have a 2 by 4 on there as a beam we can put concrete beams and things like that and, and test the flexural strength of a beam we can do that using a point load attachment similar to this where we would put that point load on there to simulate a point load we could put a plate like this on there that would simulate a evenly distributed load not sure if you've gotten into that yet in statics, but uh, evenly distributed loads are typically a lot more uh, applicable to designing buildings when you don't know specific loads. You just know how many people per square per uh, square meter kind of thing, and you can uh, convert that into an evenly distributed load. This particular uh, pedestal here is for doing small cubes. So uh, again, we need the cylinder can't uh, drop down too far without without failing, so we uh, have to stack up that concrete cylinder. So uh, that's kind of a quick introduction of our compression tester, and we'll get busy starting to use it right now.